Welcome to ACI, the Network Made Simple learning series. In this video, we will cover Module 1, Initial Tasks, Chapter 3, Fabric Discovery and Adding New Switches. In our last episode, we learned how to perform the initial physical AP configuration, so we're now ready to discover leaves and spines to automatically build our ACI fabric. But before we begin, let's understand some basic concepts on how ACI works behind the scenes. If you remember, we just configured our Apex with a tap pool and an infrastructure VLAN. ACI will automatically discover the fabric elements, such as spines and leaves, through LLDP and the HCP, and Apex will provide the HCP offers from the tap pool you defined. Internal communications, such as this one, will flow through your infrastructure VLAN, which in our case is 4093. This VLAN may be used outside your ACI fabric in specific use cases, such as virtual APIC, ABE, and others. So try to reserve it for ACI only and try to avoid using system reserved VLANs from your switches in your network. Once APIC assigns an IP address to each leaf or spine, it will also configure ISIS as our underlay routed protocol. This will allow us to have full connectivity between all leaves which will perform as BTEPs or BXLAN tunnel endpoints. BTEPs' main function is to end-cap incoming traffic with a VXLAN header and then decap outgoing traffic to deliver it in its original format. This way, we have layer 2 extended from any leaf to any leaf automatically with no spanning tree and using all links between leaves and spines in active-active mode. Then, if for any reason you decide to connect a layer 3 link to your ACI fabric, such as an external router, ACI also automatically configures MPBGP to redistribute those external routes into ACI and uses the spines as BGP route reflectors to propagate such routes. This allows us to have isolated protocols for underlay and external routing within the same fabric. Finally, if you need to grow in leaves or spines, ACI will do this automatically for you. So, Although we will not need to configure any of these protocols ourselves, it is good to know all the work ACI is doing for you. Okay, enough said. Let's start adding some leaves and spines to our ACI fabric. Log in to your ACI fabric. Click on Fabric and Topology, and you should see that there are no elements within your fabric yet, except for the APIC we are logging into. Now, click on Fabric and Fabric Membership and you should see the leaf this APIC is attached to has automatically been discovered. You will find it in the Nodes Pending Registration section if running ACI 4.0, or immediately in the main section if running previous versions. The only thing you need to do now to accept it into your ACI fabric is 1. Assign it with a node ID, 2. Assign a name to it, and 3. Click Update. This leaf is now part of our fabric. It is that simple. Please notice that APIC will assign an IP address from the tab pool as configured in episode 2. Once the IP address is assigned, the switch discovery will continue. In this case, notice we discovered a spine switch. Let's add it to the fabric using the exact same three-step procedure. Once we're done, two things will happen. One, ISIS will be configured automatically as the underlay protocol as we covered before, and two, BXLang will also be configured automatically as the overlay protocol. You don't need to do anything. Please keep in mind that multi-protocol BGP will be used to import external routes into the ACI fabric and that the spines will be enabled as route reflectors. If you are using 4.0 or later, every time you add a spine switch, you will need to enable it as a route reflector. Just do so by going to System, System Settings, and then click on BGP Route Reflector and assign a BGP autonomous system to your ACI fabric. This should be done only once per fabric. Then, every time you add a new spine, add it as a route reflector node as shown. Finally, we will discover other leaves in our ACI fabric and any other physical apex that may be attached to them. Just follow exactly the same procedure. Let's now click on Fabric Topology so that we can see our ACI topology ready to use. From this single pane of glass, we will not only be able to monitor every port for every spine and leaf, but we will also be able to configure them as well. We will cover port configurations in Module 2, where we will learn how to connect servers, switches, routers, and more. 
As a summary, if we compare the way we would have done VXLAN provisioning and new switch onboarding in a traditional network, it would have probably taken us hours. Since we would have needed to configure on a per port, per switch, and even per VXLAN network identifier or VNI basis. And things would only get worse every time we would add new switches. ACI automated several tasks for us, which dramatically reduced the amount of time it took us to have a fully functional BXLAN fabric. Remember that if you need to add more switches at any given time, we just need to do a simple three click process and we will be done in less than a minute. Thanks for watching. Thank you.